OK, step one is to create the services. How do you create a Spring Boot service? How do you create a Spring Boot application? If you want to start a Spring Boot application, how do you create it? I have a Maven project. Right. And then uh, create the dependencies uh, along with the Spring Boot uh, dependencies, mm -hmm. which would convert into a, although it's a Maven project, but it would convert into a Spring project. Yeah. Uh, other is like a Spring CLN. OK. And uh, other is like uh, directly use the web to yeah. download the, put your X and Y in and then yeah. do your zip file which would convert into a Spring Boot. Project. Yep. Yep, that's perfect. So yeah, there are multiple options. Uh, some uh, Another new thing that's coming up is a lot of these IDs have integration uh, by default. So you can, for something like IntelliJ, I think you've got to use the enterprise version for IntelliJ or uh, Spring Tool Suite. You have wizards. So you can just say, I want to create a new Spring project. And then it's going to make API calls to start.spring.io. And it's going to create uh, those projects for you. So we're going to use um, the web interface at start.spring.io. And this has a bunch of text boxes, which allow you to enter what the dimensions of your Spring project is going to be. How many of you have never done uh, this, either using the CLI or web? You've never done this. OK, so I'm going to quickly walk through this. Uh, you'll have to do this three times to create three projects. OK, so the names of the projects are, I'm going to put this out there. Um, movie catalog service, movie info service, and ratings data service. OK, so we need to create three projects. So I'm going to walk through one, and I want you guys to create the other two. OK, so the first one is, uh, well, first of all, you're giving the Maven coordinates. OK, so I'm going to give the coordinates as io.javabrains, because it's the reverse domain name. Feel free to pick your website. Um, so the first one is movie dash catalog dash service. OK, everybody see this? Yeah. And you can click on Generate Project, and it's going to create a blank project without any dependencies. But we know there is one dependency that we want, the web dependency. When you build an API, what is the technology in Spring that facilitates web APIs? Yeah. Spring MVC, yeah? Right, Spring REST. So for that, you need web. So you can also switch to the full version here, and then uh, choose web. I recommend using Java 11, but you can feel free to choose the version that you have uh, on your machine right now. Because uh, with Java 11, you got to do a little bit things a little bit different. Okay. So what did I do here? I entered my group, artifact ID, and then chose the Java version, Java 11, which is totally optional. And then I chose the dependency as web. OK, that's it. Yep. That'll be the first on the right side if you click on Expand. Just check that one thing. And that's it, right? We're going with the bare minimum. When you create a Spring uh, microservice, you can create 100 different dependencies and get lost in it. And your uh, jar ends up being super big, and you wonder why your performance is slow. So we're going to start small. Just choose web and click on Generate Project. And you're going to get a zip file downloaded. You can extract it and import it into your IDE. Right? You're going to do the exact same thing, but changing the name here. So we're going to change to uh, the other one, which is the movie info service, movie-info-service. And then the third one is going to be ratings-data-service. Another thing you can do is um, if you're stuck and you already have the other stuff imported, you can actually go to the commit here. So if you look at the GitHub repo that I've shared, uh, I've started sharing my screen now, so just check that out. So in the GitHub repo that I've shared, I have actually numbered all my commits. Okay, So if you go from the top to the bottom here, you see one is initializing of those three projects. So you can, if you want, just get that particular commit. You can do a git checkout of that commit hash. Or go to that commit and say, download the zip. There are multiple ways to get it. You can get the repo at that state. And you're going to have the state of downloading those three projects. So if you want, you can do that too. And I'm going to point out two states in this git repo. So anytime you're stuck and you just want to catch up, catch up, I'll tell you the step here. Copy that commit hash and say git checkout the commit hash. And you'll be in that state. 
Okay, so let's get rid of these. So I have three windows open here. All right, so you have the movie catalog service, the mo movie info service, and the rating data service. Movie catalog service is the final thing that consolidates everything. That's our application front end. Movie info service gets the movie information, and ratings data service stores the rating information. Right, so we have these three. And I have those three open in IntelliJ IDEA here. So one thing that IntelliJ does is once you import a Maven project, it automatically runs a, a build so that all the dependencies are added to the class path. So once you have the project imported, you can actually go ahead and run it. Okay, I am going to get this started.